the Yang Lu Chan, his contribution is, uh, uh, you know, for the Tai Chi Chan area, it is because uh, he went to a tournament competition. Uh, the competition in the past are not today uh, competition. They are different. It was just like a direct fighting tournament. Not like today, we have a sequenced, uh, then we have a free fight. Uh, those kind of fighting are different than today's tournament. So he actually uh, went to this tournament and uh, uh, there was uh, no one can win him. Uh, then, you know, uh, everybody are surprised the way how he used the technique of fighting with the different kind of martial arts. And the people are uh, really, uh, you know, uh, impressed uh, how, can, how he can demonstrate soft, neutralize a heart. And, uh, uh, you know, countering the people are using fast, hard method uh that was uh, uh quite uh, impressive with many martial artists uh, then you know he become a famous then people ask what kind of this art is and he dressing as a tai chi chuan so which is uh, uh i would say yang lu chan's uh, contribution uh, contribution for the tai chi chuan is uh, he made the people knowing it the Tai Chi Chuan exists in the martial arts area. At that time, uh, Beijing is a capital city uh, for, you know, for China, which is where the emperor lives. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of the emperor's fam family. And the Yang Lu Chan was uh, uh, pretty involved with uh, teaching, coaching, uh, you know, with a uh, uh, royal family. And also he is uh, training the troops. Uh, you know, there is one, uh, uh, what do we call a base for the troops. He was, uh, tr uh, you know, training the troops uh, at that time. So this is, uh, you know, Yang Lu Chan's a moment and his contribution and uh, uh, building up the knowing recognition with the Tai Chi Chuan at a haste time.